flashing bright in my eyes. Look up to the sky and I got this relief inside. And there's no need to hide. I'm going all the way up. Ah, I'm going all the way up. Ah, I'm letting go in my heart. Ah, of everything that holds me down. No, no. And it's feeling like I've been living fighting for the love. Oh, yeah, it's all around me. Oh, I need to know how I can never, never feel the fall. A boy should be high. Feeling like a stranger on I'm Anthony Schulte, alongside my partner, Tyler Ratliff. Today we have a rematch of a previous game that we're in one on the road at Bloomfield Hills. Tyler, what are we looking at in this game? Well, we got two teams that are both very well talented. Both of them have a 3-15 and 15 record. Bloomfield is 4-2 and two in the league. Lake Orion has zero losses in the league. Both of them can shoot the ball very, very well. Lake Orion has one of their best players at Alden Ritt. And then Bloomfield's got Adam, Noah Adamzak. They both are built very, very good players, and I'm just excited to see both these teams go head-to-head -to -head tonight and just go at it. It's going to be a very exciting one. Starters here tonight for Lake Orion. At point guard, we have Malachi Granberry, shooting guard DJ Morrow. At the three, Alden Ritt. At the four, Blake Liddell. And at the five, Trevor Witt. For Bloomfield Hills, Ben Canty starts with Julian Mana, along with Derek Lee Jr., Carson Brodsky, and Noah Adamjack. And you cannot forget about this, too. You have Joe and Kyle Hudas coming back to Lake Orion. Tonight. How do you feel about that? Um, it's nice seeing them again played on JV. I played with them on JV, and um, it was fun playing with them, and it's going to be fun to see them back here in their own stopping grounds. I know. Here at the field house. I wonder if they will give uh, Bloomfield a boost tonight. For sure, for sure. So as we approach game time, again, starters for Lake Orion, same as always, same for Bloomfield Hills. 
important to note, though, Jamari Wiggins is still hurt with that torn ACL. He's out for the remainder of the season. How do you feel like that affects the Dragons bench? Well, any injury on any team can affect the team, even no matter how bad it is. Losing a player like him is just, it affects your team yep. inside and outside. Bluefield Hills on a three-game winning streak, as well as the Lake Orion Dragons. Lake Orion's won 11 of their last 12. Only one loss coming against Birmingham Groves. Lake Orion with the win and Groves with the loss also means Lake Orion gets a share in that OAA White, OAA White title as Lake Orion wins the tip to Blake Liddell. Malachi Granberry controls it for the Dragons. Yeah, speaking of Malachi, heck of a dribbling, man. Not, oh, yeah. You don't see too many guys out there that can handle the ball like Malachi. Oh, yeah. Granberry creating up top. Driving low, nice move. He'll finish at the rim. Malachi Granberry at the first points of the oh. game as he is on the floor. Ooh. Action down, and Granberry is on the floor in some evident pain. Looked like he uh, turned his ankle there on that layup. Don't know for sure though, he is, doesn't look good. It's so devastating to see a player, especially one of your starters, go down so early in the game. So we'll take a quick break as we figure this out. Thanks to Orion Neighborhood Television and Dragon Broadcasting, you can watch LOHS sports and events all year. That includes all home varsity basketball games this winter, along with some hockey, competitive cheer, concerts, and more. It costs less than $11 per month to watch sporting events, and nearly half the subscription money goes back to our LOHS program. Tune in at www.dragonbroadcasting.org. Welcome back to the field house as the medical staff is still tending to Granberry on the floor there. As we previously alluded to in the pregame, they played earlier this season, Lake Orion winning 70 to 56 at their house. Um, it was a good game for Lake Orion. They were number 25, now they're down to number 28 as Malachi Granberry is held to his feet and you hear the standing ovation from the crowd. Yes, it's crazy just because, I mean, right now Bloomfield is ranked 25th in the state. Lake oh, yeah. Orion is ranked 75. Yep. And lately, some may say that Lake Orion has had played better than Bloomfield. Yep. And it's just crazy that how the difference in the ratings can be. Yep. They have uh, Bloomfield has no Bloomfield Hills has Noah Adamjack though, who's a very, a very uh, talented basketball player. As game gets back underway here, 7:33 left to go in the first quarter. That's Mono with it. Driving. And it's just off iron. Rebound controlled by Alden Ritt. He'll bring it up for the Dragons. Alden Ritt's jump shot out there, man. He's like Larry Bird. And that one's controlled by Bloomfield Hills. Derek Lee Jr. in the corner with it. Pass down low. Ben Canty. That's off. Rebounded by Liddell. Avrilla with it. In for Malachi Granberry, who went down. Havrilla up top. Ritt, wing now, down low, Havrilla, and he swatted away. That's Derek Lee Jr. with the rejection down low on Havrilla. That was a heck of a block, Mary. Looks like mm -hmm. Joel Embiid down, down mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. So Lee Gorian will reset out of bounds here. Looking to go to Alden Ritt, take it out. Lee Gorian, a successful outing. Their last time at the field house, 66 to 45 victory over the Holly Broncos. Let's see if uh, DJ Morrow can have a heck of a game. He's coming off his career high of 25 points mm -hmm. last game. Heck that of a was game. Against, that was against Troy. Heck of a game. Last game, of course, on the road. And Witt down low. That'll get the friendly roll. And CJ Witt's on the board. Early 4 0 lead for the Dragons. CJ Witt. Every single time that guy is on the court, he puts everything into the game. He hustles mm -hmm. so hard out there, and not too many guys can do that when they're out there, hustle like he does. Yep. Up top, Brodsky down low, taking it in. That's off. It was Derek Lee Jr. with the shot. Lay up so close like that, they're so just crucial in big games mm -hmm. like this because the easy shots are the ones you got to make. Mm -hmm. Questionable shot there from Rick, goes off front iron. 
Here we go with Adam Jack. He'll turn in off for an iron, but we got a call going back down the floor to Lake Orion. It's a foul on Ben Candy. That'll be his first and the team's first foul. Let's see if the Dragons here can get another bucket and mm -hmm. either get this a 7 to nothing lead or a 6 to nothing lead. Mm -hmm. Great defense from the Dragons so far, too. Great defense. Avrilla with it up top. Looks for Witt. Finds him. Back up top. Avrilla calling the shots. I'll tell you what, Nate, for being the second point guard for Lake Orion, he is a great person to have mm -hmm. in there. He's, oh, he yeah. knows how to control the ball. He knows how to run the offense very well. Very great passer, too. Spin move, Ritt. And they're going to call it travel. Travel on Alden Ritt. Took a little too many steps there on that spin move, and the rest will call that every time. Yes, they will. You have to have really good control on that spin move to really have it be successful for you. The spin move's a really good move. You just you got to have the great footwork to get that one down. Adam Zach with the ball up top. Bloomfield Hills trying to get their first scratch of the night. He finds Lee Jr. is going to drive in to the corner. That's Mana, and he'll be fouled on the shot. One thing that's very in common with both of these teams, and you can see it here he, in, this, in the first quarter mm -hmm. already, both of them love to shoot the ball, and oh, that's yeah. a good thing. That follows on Nate Havrilla. It's his team's first and his own personal first. Speaking of that, look at the student section oh, yeah. tonight for Lake Orion. You oh, don't yeah. see that too, too much out here. This is probably the biggest I'd say it's been all season. Oh, it's yeah. crazy. Great showing from the fans here tonight. Great. And I know a couple of the players have been complaining about how some of the student sections haven't been great this season. Yeah. Look at that. Tonight they're getting their wish. Great showing from the Lake Orion faithful. Yes. As that's Mana at the line for the Blackhawks. And he's off again. One for three at the line. And a rebound there for Ben Canyon. He'll put it up and put it in. Heck of a rebound there, man. Mm -hmm. Got a box out. Avrilla controlling it up top. Trying to get something going for the Dragons. Four to three, Dragons up top by one. Red up top. Driving and that's poked away by Mana. Mana driving, he'll put it up. And no, oh, but a foul. Old Ritt right with the, the foul. Shot. Looking like Bill Ambeer there at that big foul. So that's Alden Ritt's first and his team's second foul. In a game like this, especially for the starters for Lake Orange, you can't mm -hmm. have too many fouls early on. Especially with your starting point guard, Malachi Granberry, going down. Absolutely. As he's being looked at on the sideline currently by our great medical team here at Lake Orange High School. And another miss by Mana at the line. He is now one for four at the line, shooting 25%. Both teams. You know what they say when you're out there? Free throws win ball games. Mm -hmm. Gotta hit your free throws. They're free, man. And there's another missed free throw. That student section coming in clutch here today for the Dragons. I don't think Bloomfield was expecting as big as the student section nope. as they're seeing tonight. Dragons trying to create something on offense. Morrow has it up top. DJ Morrow, the junior. Down low to Liddell, fellow junior. Pump fake off bottom iron. Up to Derek Lee. A couple weeks, I think it was a week ago, Blake Liddell, man, had a heck of a dunk oh, yeah. off the alley-oop. Couple of them. He's a junior in high school. Mm -hmm. He's not even a senior. And, and they call a foul. The Lake Warren faithful do not agree with that. They say he got him on the arm. Questionable call there, but yeah, Bloomfield will shoot two. And the Dragons fans are not agreeing with their official call here. So this is Adam Jack at the, uh, Adam Zach at the line. He doesn't miss many free throws. We'll tell he you does not. And that one's nothing but string music. All right. Here comes Trevor Witt, the bruiser for Lake Orion. This guy, man, when he's in the middle, he's one of the toughest guys to box out because he's so big and he's so strong. Wow, what a move there by Nate. Avrilla trapped in the corner, finds the ball. Morrow, got it wing. I'll tell you what, what one of the one things, they're not letting DJ get open. Nope. That, that's well, a now, good thing. Now that Granberry is not on the floor, they're looking to DJ to be the main scoring option right now on the floor. I wonder if that will affect their play tonight, not having Granberry out there. Some question that will. We'll see if that is answered. 
So Liddell will be at the line shooting too. Liddell, for a big guy, can shoot pretty good, I would say. Mm -hmm. Not too He's many. definitely worked on that free throw shot. Yes, he has. The first one's good. As you can see, yes. Blake Liddell, the junior at the line again, you said last time they were at the field house, he had that big game against Holly. As he's that off on the second one, splits Enormous dunk. Alley-oop. You don't see too many juniors in high school doing that type of stuff. No, you don't. Up top is Brodsky. Down low, finds Adamzak. Adamzak puts up the three, and he's fouled. Count that baby in a foul. What a shot from Noah Adamzak. Blake Liddell not too happy about that call down there. But so that one is on Blake Liddell. Not too many, well, even if a referee gives you a foul, whether you agree with it or not, you gotta yep. keep your composure, because you can't get frustrated, because you never know if the referee might tee you up. Mm -hmm. And Adamzak misses from the line. Uncharacteristic miss there for Adamzak. So can't complete the four point opportunity there. Adamzak has missed several free throws tonight. You don't see guys usually miss free throws like he does. Morrow had a top thought about it. Over to Witt. Witt, pull up Jay. Air ball. Rebound to go by his brother, Trevor Witt. Witt, excuse me. Lake Orion with the hustle, man. And it's poked away by Mana. Up to Adamzak. He's going to take the three just off front iron. But that's put back up and in by Ben Canny. And Lake Orion wants a timeout. Right now, Bloomfield is just straight up out hustling Lake Orion. Lake Orion looks frustrated. They don't look happy, and they got to play together if they're going to turn this around. With 303 left, it's Bloomfield Hills 10, Lake Orion 5. Stay up to date with Dragon Broadcasting on social media. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Visit our website at www.dragonbroadcasting.org and drop us an email at dragonbroadcasting at lok12.org. We welcome your feedback. Welcome back to the field house as time off for Lake Orion just about ready to conclude. We get back to action. Let's see if the Dragons can turn this one around. Mm -hmm. Dragons find themselves in a five point hole here just a little, just a little bit into the uh, game here. So ready to get back. Into the action as Nate Havrilla will take it out for the Dragons. Yeah, well, Bloomfield coming off of a loss actually uh -huh. to West Bloomfield. Final score was 61 to 56. West Bloomfield got the win. Yep. And Bloomfield so far has just came to play tonight, man. That's Adam Zach guarding up Nate Havrilla up top. Close defense, even that far out. Double team Witt. That's Trevor Witt. Double teamed. Gets out of it. CJ thought about it. Morrow, three ball, just off. Rebounded by Adam Zack. He's going to take it up. Driving down low, back out, finds Mana. Great ball movement. Brodsky, three off. Rebounded by Morrow. Lake Orion's a sporadic team, though. They'll miss a couple threes, then they'll hit a couple. You just. <laughs> You gotta stay calm and you gotta stay focused when you're out there. Good job corralling that. That's Witt that corralled it. Trevor and CJ are twins, and you also have Alden Ritt. You have Witt, Witt, and Ritt. Something we like to bring up on the broadcast. All three of them are great players, too. Amen to that. More up top to Witt. Fans want Witt to take that three. He's not thinking about it. Liddell secures it. Top side. And they're going to call a foul. Let's see who that's on. Foul on number five, Ahmad Taylor. Taylor so far has just had, he's played very aggressive against Blake Liddell. Yeah. And like, especially for a guy like Liddell, you got to play him tight and you got to play him hard. And for Bloomfield Hills, number three, C.J. Jackson. Witt taking it out. Got to get it in. Find C.J. in the corner. C.J. drives. Liddell up top. Liddell, he'll take the drive. A little post move, nothing going. Rebounded by Gasu, Noah Adamzak. He's gonna take it in. He's gonna put up the little floater layup. Adamzak right there, that's showing the player that he is oh, yeah. right there. Electrifying score. Last week had 19 points and five steals. Great game from him. CJ has it in the corner. 
Morrow. And they're gonna call foul there. Number three, CJ Jackson. Lake Orion down by seven. And for the Dragons, Alden Ritz gonna come back on for Blake Bledel. When Alden Ritz on the floor, the whole defense has gotta be scared because if that guy gets open, dangerous things can happen, man. Oh yeah. Morrow taking it out, finds Ritt. Ritz got it up top. Back to Havrilla. Havrilla's gonna get the offense going here for the Dragons. About a minute and change left to go. CJ, three ball, off high heel. And rebounded by Brodsky. Get that to Noah Adams at. Got it for Bloomfield Hills. Screen and roll, and that one will get away from Adams at. It will be Lake Orion basketball. That was a great screen, just couldn't execute the pass there, though. Early minutes ongoing for Jordan Morse here. He's in the game, along with, for Bloomfield Hills, number 20, Jordan Holman. So Alden Ritt has it in the backcourt. Finds Witt to Morse. Looks like Bloomfield is pressing Lake Orion a little bit here early. And that one's poked away. Ben Canny, he'll put it up, he'll put it in. Ben Canny with the steal and score. So some quick turnovers for the Dragons, turning into points for Bloomfield Hills. Witt up top, 20 seconds left to go in the first quarter. And there's a bench warning on Bloomfield Hills' bench. Trying to laugh that one off. You gotta obey the rules when you're on the yep. court and even when you're on the bench. Oh, or yeah. else the ref will call you out for it. Mm -hmm. One more of those and that's a technical foul. Yes it is. Ritt is gonna take it out here for the Dragons. Finds Morrow in the corner. Yeah, Boomfield continues to not let DJ get open. Mm -hmm. They know about him, they know about him. Yes they do. They saw that 25 point night and they didn't want none of it. Morse, deep three, off front, front iron. Corral by Brodsky, up court, and before the buzzer rings, they couldn't quite get off a shot. That's the end of one, folks. We have the Bloomfield Hills Blackhawks 14 and your Lake Orion Dragons 5. We'll see you after this short break. If you are a student athlete in Michigan with at least a 3.5 GPA, you can apply for the MHSA Scholar Athlete Award. Each year, in partnership with Farm Bureau Insurance, 32 seniors are selected. And this year, each student will receive a $2,000 scholarship for their work both on and off the court. This is something Farm Bureau and the MHSA have done for 33 years now. We're approaching $1 million in total scholarship money handed out over the life of the program. To be eligible, student athletes must have a 3.5 grade point average, earned at least one varsity letter in an MHSA sponsored sport, and fill out an application which includes an essay about the importance of sportsmanship in educational athletics. The application deadline is December 3rd. For more information, go to MHSA.com and to apply, check with your high school athletic director. Welcome back to the field house as we have a nine point deficit for your Lake Orion Dragons coming out of it. In that first quarter, what did you see so far in this game, that first quarter? Well, we saw Malachi Dragons. go down, and mm -hmm. obviously the Dragons were not expecting that, and I think it maybe caused a little bit of shock uh -huh. on the core of the team, and I want to see here in this second quarter if they can come back from that and play a little bit better, because obviously they got to turn it around. They're losing 5-14. to 14. Yep. So it's going to be Adam Zach with the ball coming up past the timeline for Bloomfield Hills, get this second quarter underway. He finds C.J. Jackson in the corner. That one's just off. Rebounded by Ritt. And Granberry back in the game. Hobbling a bit, but he's back in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to help out his fellow teammates. Yeah. Granberry, never a player to give up on his team. Nope. He's always been a team player. Always. Granberry up top. Wonderful sight to see him back. We, knew, we know he was writhing in some pain on the floor there. Ritt, deep three, he hits it! That Alden is, Ritt from downtown, that, wow, what a shot. That is the Larry Bird, Steph Curry jump shot from Alden Ritt there, man. And the range from that, man, that's crazy. Crazy shot, also, he wasn't open either. Players like Ritt. And poked away by Witt. Trevor with that hard defense. Great defense by Witt, rebounded by Morrow. Brodsky couldn't get anything going. Granberry trying to get it going. Looks refreshed. He's looking. He got a whistle on the floor. So 
in for the Blackhawks. There looks to be some confusion. He has to go to the scores table in for the Blackhawks. Number five, Ahmad Taylor. Can't forget the check in. Always got to go to the table. Rip into Granberry. Granberry driving. He's putting it up. Oh, and he puts it in. What a fancy finish there by Granberry. Look at him out there. He's like Isaiah Thomas back in 88 for the Pistons. What a finish, too. Granberry playing tight defense. That's man up top, finds Brodsky down low, poked away, but that's put up and that's put in by Derek Lee Jr. Like Orion down by six here. Mm -hmm. Ritz got it. Ritz gonna take it across the timeline for the Dragons. I wonder if Lake Orion was expecting Bloomfield to press them this much and this early. And they're gonna call a blocking foul on Bro Carson Brodsky. His second team sixth foul. Ritt again gonna take it out as Blake Liddell comes in for Trevor Witt for the Dragons. Trevor Witt so far playing on playing pretty well on defense. He's really shut down their bigs. Yes, he has. CJ up top, calls for a screen. Liddell comes. CJ will take it, and that's just off. Rebound by Adam Jack, sorry. And that's tipped up and in by Carson Brodsky. Extending the Bloomfield Hills lead to, 18, to eight. Bloomfield just keeping the foot on the pedal. Morrow gets the feed from Granberry. Morrow wants a screen up top. Morrow scanning, he'll drive in. Morrow off high glass, can't quite hit it. Rebound by Brodsky. These key shots that are closed, like Orion's mm -hmm. got to take advantage of and knock more mm -hmm. down. Adam Zach, he's just off. Rebounded by CJ Witt. Like Orion's playing good defense. They just got to mm -hmm. execute on offense. Alden. Oh, nice pull up midi from Alden Ritt. Free throw line. Jay brings the Dragons to within six. And an air ball there by one Mr. Derek Lee Jr. A little bit off there on the shot. And he hears it from the student section here at the at the field house. Yeah. Here in Lake Orion, if the opposing team misses a shot, they're oh, going to yeah. let you know it if we got a big student yeah, section. Yeah, especially if it doesn't even hit the rim. Yeah. Granberry's got it. Crossing the timeline for the Dragons. About 4.50 left to go here in the first half. Pressure Driving cross two. Pass fake to the corner to up to the wing. DJ, he'll get it back to Malachi. He hits it. Malachi Granberry, what a shot there from the corner. Uh, and he's, he's letting him know. On one leg. How about that? Wow. And we're going to head to timeout. Here are five good reasons for high school multi-sport participation. Fewer overuse injuries, less opportunity for emotional burnout, exposure to different kids and coaches, exposure to different roles, and learning to compete better. Being a multi-sport participant can help a kid become a more well-rounded person. Multi-sport participation is cross-training for life. Learn more at the MHSAA website. Welcome back into the field house where the Dragons just down by three here with about 4.35 left to go in the second quarter. Like Orion right there late just starting to show a little bit of recovery mm -hmm. and coming back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Adam Zach has it for Bloomfield Hills. Calls for a screen. He'll take it himself. He'll put it up and it's just off. Rebound corralled by Blake Liddell. Granberry's got it now for the Dragons. Fired up top by Derek Lee Jr., one of Bloomfield Hill's best defenders. Still keeping the pressure on DJ. Granberry trying to create up top. Guarded closely by Lee Jr. Picks up his dribble. And it's poked away, but secured by Blake Liddell. Dragons will reset. 
McGorian looks a little frustrated out there. Nice pass. Granberry, Havrilla, three ball in the corner. He hits it. No. Nate Havrilla with the shot. Tying the game all up. 18 18. Oh, yeah. Dragons showing some life here towards the waning minutes of the first half. We got a foul on the floor. Number three, DJ Mora. His first team's fifth foul. Might have ourselves a ball game here now that it's tied up. Both teams giving it their all here. That's Mana with it up top. Gets it to Adam Zach. Their main man on offense. Trying to create. Finds Ben Canny. Shot is up, no good. Alden right with the rebound. Multiple misses lately from three for Bloomfield. Granberry trying to create, has it ripped away. That's Jordan Holman with the steal. Up, oh, Adam Zach, he's gonna put up the little baby shot. And that's off front iron. Another shot, Adam Zach, that's off again. Another Great. shot up, another miss, another opportunity, and finally a foul is called. Bluefield Hills having three opportunities there to get some shots on the board. When you have multiple shots thrown up and you're on defense, you have to come back down with the rebound. Because mm -hmm. if you're playing against a good team, they will come back down with the rebound, and eventually they're gonna put the ball in the basket. Lagorian has got to execute rebounding. Nehavrilla with the foul there. So that's Ben Canny at the line for the Blackhawks. In for Lagorian, 12, CJ Witt. On the floor for the Dragons, Granberry, Moro, Ritt, Liddell, and Witt. And the miss right there, rebounded by Alden Ritt. He'll take it up for the Dragons. Perhaps, got it up top. Perhaps uh, Bloomfield taking advantage of the Malachi's ankle there mm -hmm. a little bit. Alden's got it. Up top of the Dragons. Clearing out. One on one time for Ritt. He's going to put up the baby midi, and that doesn't, that barely, that's a foul. They're going to call him the floor off the rebound by Liddell. Or they, Liddell. They had to go up strong there by Blake Liddell. That's a foul on. He sinks both of these. Lake Orion will take the lead. Like my partner said there, chance to take the lead for the Dragons. And he'll tie it up. Blake Goodell ties it up there, 19 apiece. And for the Dragons, number one, Nate Havrilla. And he's just off, front iron on that next free throw, splits the pair, ties up the ball game. Adam Zach up top, looking. He'll drive it in, he'll find down low, block. Ooh, and they don't agree with that call either. Look to be all ball, but the refs call it a foul on CJ Witt. Like Orion, are it, they're banging and bruising down there mm -hmm. tonight in the middle, and they do not seem to be agreeing with the referees calling tonight. Ahmad Taylor at the line. He's the beneficiary of that call. And he'll net that first one. We all know the field house is a tough place to play for any team. It's but also it, it's one of the bigger gyms you're going to play, oh yeah. especially if it's fully packed. Mm -hmm. It can be overwhelming for an away team, especially if you're not used to playing in a big gym. We've got a loud student section here to try and disrupt the Blackhawks offense as he'll nice. nail both of those free throws. As you can see, yeah, Bloomfield has missed multiple free throws. Wonder if that's the reason. Havrilla up top. About two minutes left to go here in the first half of basketball. Anthony Schulte, Tyler Ratliff here on the call. Moro, three ball, just off. And a Rebound attempt there by Witt, taken away by the Blackhawks. Bloomfield there got lucky. Uh -huh. It's Mana driving. Finds Ahmad Taylor, three ball, off. And foul on the floor. Wait for the call. Number 20, Jordan Holman with that foul. So one and one opportunity here for the Dragons. CJ Witt at the line. 
And he'll nail the first one. He hits the next one. That is a tied ball game we have here. Important free throw here for C.J. Witt on the tail end of a one and one opportunity. And this game is close. Man, here comes Bloomfield on the court. Adam Zach has it. You Tries gotta to get the screen there from Ben Canty. You gotta watch out for Adam Zach. He's deadly. And he's proven that right there with that contested midi. Nothing but string music there for Adam Zach. Deadly jumper. Ritz got it. Looks to have an answer on the other end. Trying to find the answer now is Nate Havrilla. Got it up top of the Dragons. Approaching a minute left to go here in the first half. Whip looked at the three. Decided not to do it. Morrow, Ritt. Ritt driving baseline, can't find any room. Havrilla's got it up top. They're containing the three really, really well from Lake Orion. Great perimeter defense by the Blackhawks. Especially with Lake Orion being a three-point shooting team. Off the screen from Witt. It's Moro to Alden Ritt. Three ball off back iron. Rebounded there by Jordan Holman. Even though so, he missed, that was so close. Man has got it up top. He'll attempt a three ball. That's off front iron. Out of bounds. That'll be going back down to, for the Dragons. Looking to check in for the Dragons is Malachi Granberry in for Nate Havrilla. 31 seconds left on the clock here for the Dragons, bringing the ball up. Checking in for the Blackhawks, number 15, Derek Lee Jr. He's coming in for number two, Ben Canty. Rick bringing the ball up here for the Dragons. 23 seconds left to go here in the first half. Granberry moving a little bit more gingerly now. Back to Granberry. Especially for Granberry. Once that adrenaline gets going. Approaching five seconds left to go here in the first half. And a foul is called there on number 20. That's another one on Jordan Holman. So with four seconds of foreign change left to go here in the first half. That's Alden Ritt going to the line here for the Dragons to try and tie this game up before the half. And in for the Dragons, Blake Liddell comes in. That last possession, great ball movement there for the Dragons. Mm -hmm. Good job securing the ball. Yes. So Ritt at the line, looking to tie up this ball game. And he'll nail down the first one, as expected by Mr. Alden Ritt. So he's going to attempt to tie this one. Another free throw on deck. Ritt. And just off on the second. Adam Zach got it with the second left. Puts up the shot. Almost in for Adam Zach. So at the end of the first half, we've got the Blackhawks 23, Lake Orion 22. We got a close one, folks. Stay in your seats. We'll be back after halftime. The 2022 basketball finals will be at the Breslin Center March 19th for the girls, March 26th for the boys. Let's look back to see how last year's champions were crowned. Starting with the girls in Division I, Hudsonville beat Detroit Renaissance 65-61. In Division Two, Portland beat Nuevo 52-32. Years. Densmore with the clock bleeding down beats the buzzer and gives Portland an eight-point lead as they go to the locker room. Might not be done here. Guilford has been outstanding. 14 points. Extra pass. Bauer hits. That they are. And that's going to do it in a season unlike any other. For the first time ever, the Portland Raiders, state champs 
in girls basketball. In Division Three, it was Grass Lake 52, Kent City 50. No good for Gears. Bargesser ahead of the pack again, and it falls in. She's like a one-person break. How many times has she been out ahead of the field? Kent City, a lot of credit, because their defense really stepped up, and they seized that opportunity. Avery Cabana, one of the biggest shots of her life. Music to Warriors fans' ears for the first time in school history. Grass Lake State Champions. And in Division Four, Fowler beat Bel Air 54-20. Because they've been very present to challenge a lot of those shots at the front of the room. Mia Riley, she has scored the last eight points for the Eagles. Might have got a little hand in there. But as it were, Fowler basketball and a beautiful stroke from Avery Koenigsnack. How about this? The Fowler Lady Eagles on the 30th anniversary of the school's first and only state championship back in 1991 have done it again. On the boys' side in Division I, Grand Blank 45, Ann Arbor Huron 36. How about R.J. Taylor from the corner? Scratch that. That is Josh Recksteiner. Saved by Edmondson. But who's going to get to it? It's Grand Blank. And off the window, Amante Allen Johnson. Champions in Division One, the Grand Blank Bobcats. In Division Two, Grand Rapids Catholic Central beat Battle Creek Penfield 77 54. Brown has been hitting the turbo all day. Drive and kick, Brooks hits. What a great idea. If you don't like playing against a good defensive team like Penfield, hit before they even set up. Under five and a half to go. Karasinski, no doubt about it. They're not just a football school. For the first time in school history, they're champs in hoops. In Division Three, Flint Beecher beat Iron Mountain 75 47. Pull it out if we want, guys. We got this double digit lead. No lead to uh, put pressure on ourselves here. Nenefield stepping back. Oh my goodness! Another steal. Nenefield scooping one home. Congratulations to Mike Williams and the Flint Beecher Bucks. They do it again. 17 years for Williams. This is his sixth title. Really good ball club. And in D4, Detroit Douglas, 47. Wyoming Tri-Unity Christian, 41. Holding up from the logo. Whoa! Holy God! Bombs away to end the half and take a lead. And Douglas stretching that lead. Now to seven points in the steal. Look out! Oh, mercy! Slam! dun 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 Detroit Douglas, champions in Division Four. Do you know the biggest difference between a pickup game and organized high school sports? The answer is obvious, it's officials. School sports is more than just kicking a ball or running fast. They're an extension of a student's education and the classroom. An official can help teach the importance of following the rules, impartiality, and most importantly, fairness. Captain of the football team, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Represents right. leadership and sportsmanship, right? You guys set the good examples for your fellow teammates, okay? All right, we have a problem with one of your fellow teammates, we'll come and ask you to take care of the problem, okay? But the need for officials has never been greater. There are some benefits to becoming an official, like staying in shape, staying involved in the sports you played as a young person, networking, and of course, you can earn some pretty good extra money while doing all of that. It's easy to sign up. Just go to mhsaa.com slash officials and click register now. Now is a great time for you to get involved in your community and give something back to our kids. There's help wanted. We need you to whistle. For more information, 
visit our website at mhsaa.com. We're there to serve, make sure we're creating a fair atmosphere for both teams, upholding the integrity of the game. I chose to be an official. It's the best decision I've made. In life, things aren't scripted. Games aren't pre-scripted. You know, I got into officiating because my father was an official. Officiating was part of our family life. It wasn't just the game. You get to be outside, you get to like experience the game. It's so much more fun. You can get a lot out of it. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiating. It helped me become not only a better official, but a better person. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And it's just been wonderful. Today we'd like to talk to you about the MHSAA's Legacy Officiating Program. The Legacy Officials Program gives high school students their first taste of officiating, helping them literally earn their stripes working junior high, middle school, and sub-varsity contests. All Legacy Officials have a local sponsor, a mentor, a veteran official who helps arrange games and observes and critiques their work. Legacy officials learn about the time it takes to study, practice, improve their officiating skills, and about the time commitment their adult counterparts put into their work. The program helps them better understand the rules of the game, the role of officials, and the importance of sportsmanship. Nice job, number 12. Thanks. It's also not a bad way for a high school kid to earn a little money. Every year, legacy officials are honored at the MHSAA's annual Officials Awards and Alumni Banquet, where one graduating senior is awarded a modest college scholarship. Since its inception, nearly 2,000 students have taken part in the legacy program, with between 100 and 150 participants in any given year, and we can always use more. To learn more about the MHSAA's legacy officiating program, or to become a game official, visit MHSAA.com. There's help on it, just whistle. As the voice of Michigan student athletes, the Student Advisory Council's role is to convey the message of how high school sports are supposed to be played. We are responsible for helping the MHSAA maintain a positive and healthy atmosphere so the interscholastic athletes may thrive. We believe athletes should be competitive, sportsmanlike, and excel academically. We believe students in the stands should have fun, but not take the focus away from the game. We believe coaches should act as teachers, helping student athletes develop while still keeping high school sports in perspective. We believe that parents should always be positive role models and be supportive of their child's decisions. We believe officials commit their own time to high school sports, and respect should always be shown and given to them. The most important goal for student athletes is to enjoy high school sports while keeping a high level of respect between all those involved in the games. Enjoy the game! Welcome back to the Lake Orion Fieldhouse where we have the Blackhawks 23, Lake Orion 22 coming into the second half. Story of the game so far, missed free throws for both squads. That's really going to factor into the end of the game. Leading scores, Alden Ritt with eight for the Dragons. Uh, ben Canty with eight for the Blo for Bloomfield Hills. And Adam Zach has a quiet seven here so far. What are your thoughts, quick thoughts well, on the first half? I think what's happening is kind of what we predicted. Two good mm -hmm. teams oh, yeah. playing hard, playing good basketball. Mm -hmm. Very close score, as you can see, 22 yep. to 23. And I'm just excited to see this next half, man. Let's get it going. Havrilla's got it up top. Update on Malachi Granberry, a lower non-severe left ankle sprain? Yes. And he will come back and play. He's not starting off the second half, though. He is going to be back in the game, though. CJ Witt up top. Gives it to Havrilla. Havrilla steps in for the three. He hits it! Nate Havrilla with the three to get the Dragons going and the two-point lead coming into the second half. Lake Orion, man, they're coming out to play. Yep. Starting it off with a three. Man at Abrodsky. Down low, that's Lee Jr. Tough finish. 
So Havrel is going to collect it here. Down to CJ Witt. Likes that corner. Alden got it up top. Pull up midi. Ooh, nice shot. Pull up midi contested. Nothing but string music for Alden Wright. Blake Orion, two for two to come out the second half. Mana up top. And poked away by Havrilla. And I got a nice little pull up Jay off front iron. Rail, riled in by DJ Moore. Havrilla up top for the Dragons. Ritz got it, back to Havrilla. Havrilla drives. Nothing, gives out to Ritt. Ritt trying to go opposite way to Liddell. Liddell puts it down, he puts it up, he puts it in. Nice little layup there from Blake Liddell. Good start for the Dragons. This is a different Lake Orion Dragons mm -hmm. basketball team now that we're seeing in the second half than the first half, I would say. They're completing their offensive possessions. Brodsky, back and down low, off front iron. He is pulled in by DJ Morrow. havrilla has got it. Down to Blake Liddell. Blake, corner, CJ Witt, just off. First shot Eight. missed tonight for Lake Orion in the second half. Adam Zach's got it. Adam Zach looking to get something going. That's a foul on CJ Witt, his second. Down low, Brodsky pulls it in. And poked away, stolen by Alden Ritt. Gives it to Vril on the break. Here they come. Avril to Liddell. CJ Witt. Back to Avrilla. Looking, finds Alden, gets him on the pump fake, drives in. Down low, couldn't quite get it. Was Liddell, but it'll be corralled out of bounds by Adam Zach and at least still Lake Orion basketball. Great shot fake there by Alden mm -hmm. Red. Just they couldn't get the ball in the basket, and that's okay. Chance to reset for Lake Orion. Gets it to Liddell. Now looking over his options, gets it to Ritt in the post. Ritt, step back or step back midi, pardon me, and that's just off. Adam Zach's got it. Almost stolen by CJ Witt. Adam Zach looking over. The crossover, and they'll find in the corner that was Derek Lee Jr. And they're going to call it to Bloomfield Hills. Looks like Bloomfield Hills has a little bit of a student section. Yeah, they brought here. some fans over. In for the Dragons, though, Trevor Witt in for Blake Liddell. So Manda will take it out of bounds for Bloomfield Hills. Gets it into Canty. Canty, their leading scorer at, at halftime. Canty, they look for the three. Nothing going, drives baseline. And right into the hands of DJ Morrow. Ritz pushing. Ritz, he'll drive. And he'll find, that'll end up in CJ's hands. Morrow, midi, just off. Yeah, Alton Ritt, for a big guy, he looks like Giannis mm -hmm. out there. He's able to control that ball real well. And a foul is going to be called on the floor. That's going to be on number 12, CJ Witt. Bloomfield is taking it out. Man has got it up top. Havrilla guarding closely. It's Lee Jr. Over to Canty. Poked away by Havrilla, and Havrilla secures it. Two on one fast break. DJ, he'll put it up, he'll put it in. Lake Orion converting on a fast break play, and they'll force a timeout by Bluefield Hills. Look at the energy for Lake Orion, man. Wow. 31-25, Lake Orion out in front. We'll be back after this message. More high school games than ever before can be seen live every week on the MHSAA TV website. The school broadcast program continues to grow with more and more schools using the NFHS Network's automated production solution, Pixelot, to show both regular season and postseason games. Check it out at MHSAA.tv. Back at the field house, back at the field house here, as we've got a six-point lead. Dragons 
Down by one coming into it, halfway through the first for, through the third quarter, and we've got a six point lead in favor of the Dragons. Yeah, at first you thought since one of Bloomfield's only league losses mm -hmm. is Lake Orion, yep. and they thought might maybe get a little bit of redemption, but yep. now Lake Orion coming out and just punching them right in the face. Lake Orion's a team that they'll start off slow, but after halftime, they're back out and they're playing and they're balling, they're hooping. Yes, they are. Bloomfield Hill's gonna take it out of bounds here. Ahmad Taylor in the game. And it's gonna be CJ Jackson taking it up. Finds Adam Zach. Adam Zach finds Jackson. Bluefield Hills trying to get something going here. Lee Jr. Adam Zach looking. He'll take a contested three ball just off. Rebound, Blake Liddell. Adam Zach having a little bit of a rough night shooting, not really getting many conversions out there on the floor. Lake Orion containing him very well. Not too many teams can do that with Adam Zach. Morrow driving. Bit of contact on that drive. A little more contact, and the refs finally see it. That's a foul on 15. Derek Lee Jr. Bloomfield not too happy with that call. So the first foul of the half here. About 3.30 left to go. That's what you like to see as a head coach. I mean, you know there's going to be fouls, but you like to wait as late as possible so they don't start to stack against you. So Morrow's going to take it out. Avrilla up top. Ritt. To Witt. Avrilla, three ball, just off. And they're going to call a foul right there on number three, CJ Jackson. Held Morrow down on the rebound attempt, so it'll be Dragon's ball out of bounds. They gave him a little bit of a Rick Mahorn arm to the yep. neck. Yep. Ritt looking. He'll find Witt top side to Havrilla. 3.20 left to go here in the third quarter. From the field house, Morrow trying to get past Brodsky. He does. And he'll get in. They'll get a foul call. And Morrow not liking Brodsky's antics. Bloomfield awfully physical out there. And Morrow's tired of this. So Morrow threw the ball into the chest of Brodsky. So we're going to get the official call in a second here. The foul on 23, Brodsky. And a technical foul on DJ Morrow. So to conclude, technical foul on DJ Morrow for shoving the ball into the chest of Brodsky, and that is still a foul on Carson Brodsky. So Morrow will go to the line for the Dragons. Even though uh, Morrow is still shooting, when you get a lead, the last thing you want to do mm -hmm. is get a technical mm -hmm. and give the other team basically mm -hmm. free points. So another missed free throw for the Dragons here. Missed free throw is the story of the game so far. Morrow looks to convert on the second. And he can't. So he can't make either of them from the line. And we'll just see if th these free throws are going to come back to bite either team. Lots of frustration there mm -hmm. from uh, DJ. Not happy. This is a very important game for both sides, as we both know. It's a, it's a high-tier division game as Adam Zach at the line. And he'll nail down the first one. Emotions are going to be high in a game with such high stakes for both teams yes, as this is. one is. So. Amzak will knock down both of them. So it's a case of Amzak making both of his free throws and Morrow missing both of his on the other end of the floor. Yeah. So it's CJ Jackson got it up top for Bloomfield Hills. Trying to get something going. Three and some change left to go here in the third. Four point lead for the Dragons. Brodsky got it top side. Looking down low. Nice pass down low, but it's rejected by Alden Ritt. Yeah, that technical did not seem to affect the Dragon defense there with a huge block. Cavrilla looking to get something going here for the Dragons offense. Right up top. Finds Liddell. Kevin Tobe checks into the game for the first time this evening. Receives the ball from Liddell. Back to Avrilla. Ritt. He's going to put up contested midi. Oh, he hits it. Tough shot there for Alden Ritt. And that's Bottoms to give the Dragons a six-point lead. Alden is fired up here, man. Important game for him. 
Yes, we all know is. how important these playoffs, especially these playoffs, are for Alden. Not only just Alden, Rip, but the city of Lake yep. Orion. The entire team. Three balls off. Rebound by Trevor Witt. Trevor Witt. Again, Witt, Witt, and Ritt. It can be a little confusing. It can get it. It's a tongue twister. It is. Finds Ritt up top for the Dragons. Waddell over to Tobe. Thought about it. Kevin Tobe, the junior, started off on JV this season. It's a little tied up. Alden Ritt's going to control it and reset for Lake Orion. Gets it to the point guard, Havrilla. Malachi Granberry just heading to the bench right now in a shooting shirt. So we haven't seen Malachi Granberry on the bench so far. His return looks to be questionable at this point. DJ Morrow set to check in for Kevin Tobe. Here for the Dragons. Dragons going to reset out of bounds with CJ Witt. Finds Ritt. Ritt up top for the Dragons, double teamed. Finds Liddell, and that ball is going back to Bloomfield Hills. So the double, double team pressure works in Bloomfield Hills' favor. Bloomfield, even though they're down, they're still playing aggressive. Yep. That's a great thing to have. Even when you're down, still play hard. Morrow looking to check in. Ref saying no. Student section seems to be growing a little bit even more for Lake Orion. Adam Zach, three ball, just off. Another miss from Adam, or oh, that was Mana, excuse me, Mana with the shot. My apologies. Ritt, he's got it up top to Lake Orion. Look at the energy there on the bench for Bloomfield. They're all standing down there. Ritt's got it up top. Six point ball game here at the field house. Just under a minute left to go here in the third quarter. Avril up top. Ritz got it. He's double teamed, but he gets out of the double team. Looks down low. Liddell in the easy lane for Blake Liddell. Breaking the pressure was Alden Ritt getting the assist. Gonna handle the ball there for Alden Ritt. Holy moly, being the player that he really is. Great job ex escaping the pressure. Yes, great job. Lee Jr. up top. Gives it back to Adam Zach. Adam Zach looking to get something here. Mana, back to Adam Zach. Got Lee Jr. down to Brodsky. Brodsky, three ball. That's a three ball by Ben Kenny. Ben Kenny, their leading scorer going into the second half. Alden Ritz got it for Lake Orion. Five seconds left to go here in the third. Step back, turn around, jumper, just off. Trevor Witt gets it off in time and it's just off. At the end of three. We've got a five point lead for the Dragons, 35 30 here at the Fieldhouse. Back here in the start of the fourth quarter here for Bloomfield and Lake Orion. The score right now is 35 to 30. Lake Orion is up right now by five points. So a good, a good start to that third quarter by Lake Orion. The Dragons getting a five point advantage after being, after being down by one at the end of the first half. Great, great adjustments at halftime. The shot's starting to fall and Lake Orion starting to produce some more offense. More offense than Bloomfield Hills is. Yeah. To end off that third quarter, Alden tried to go for a Kevin Durant fadeaway there, but you know it was no good. And here comes Bloomfield to start off the fourth quarter. And the shot there by Adam Zach. Great floater there for Bloomfield by Adam Zach. Might step it up here. Corovo with the ball. 
screen there by Trevor. Passes it out to CJ. CJ shoots the three. Good. But boom. Fourteen Mano brings up the ball. Looks like we have a foul on the floor here. Bloomfield ball. Cabrilla hits the floor. Three ball. Canty just off. That'll be out of bounds. The officials are going to discuss this one here, and it's going down to Lake Orion. So Lake Orion gets the officials' call. Trevor, man, look at the Dennis Rodman hustle down oh, there yeah. on the floor. Oh, yeah. Love to see it. cabrilla has got it up top, taking it across the timeline for the Dragons. Just into the fourth quarter. Morrow up top. Important game for both teams as it's poked away. Morrow, we got a foul called on number 14, Mana. Morrow will take it out of bounds. Finds Ritt. The Dragons' main man, Alden Ritt, with the ball up top. Avrilla. To Ritt. Gives it to Liddell. Liddell drives in. Morrow. Down low, Trevor Witt. With the ball in the post. Finds Ritt on the cut. And they're going to call the foul. Foul on... 23, Carson Brodsky. Uh, Bloomfield sending Alden Ritt to the floor to eat the wood. Mm -hmm. Alden will get two shots out of that, out of the attempt there. So here is where both teams have struggled, the free throw line. Let's see if Alden Ritt can nail the first one. There's one person to hit it, it's him. Best shooter in the gym right there, Alden Ritt nails the first one. Substitution on the floor, number five, Ahmad Taylor in for Carson Brodsky, who just picked up that foul. So Alden Ritz going to look to make it two for two from the stripe. Ritt no good. But rebounded by Liddell, so a second chance opportunity here for the Dragons. Avrilla up top. Dragons up by seven. Liddell. Morrow down low to Ritt. Ritt will put it up. He'll put it in. Alden Ritt with a nice little layup there to make it a nine-point advantage for the Dragons. Man, Ritt is playing his heart out out there. Adam Zach, three, bottoms. You can't contain that man for that long. He nails the open three. And there'll be a timeout by Bloomfield Hills. Stay in tune with the prep sports scene by listening to This Week in High School Sports on the MHSAA Network carried on nearly 100 radio stations on the web audio outlets around the state. This week features various stories plus a weekly Be the Referee segment. This week in high school sports can also be heard by visiting the home page of the MHSAA website. Welcome back. Welcome back into the field house as we have a six point advantage for the Dragons with 6.09 left to go in the fourth. What have you seen so far during this, uh, so far through the second half for the Dragons? Well, they came out, they're starting to hit a lot more threes. They're playing mm -hmm. harder. They're letting everybody know that they're the best team in the gym. And yep. when you do that and you execute like they are tonight, I mean, it's intimidating for mm -hmm. the team uh, that you're playing against. A reminder, the Dragons did take the previous matchups, 70 to 56 at their house. Havrilla has got it up top for the Dragons. Double screen action. Havrilla finds Ritt off of it. Liddell gets it to Morrow. Morrow to Ritt. He's got it up top for the Dragons. He'll reset. Finds Witt. Looks got options. Liddell wanted it, but he gets it to Morrow. Morrow to Ritt. Avrilla. Out to Trevor. Trevor Witt, three ball. Just off. It'll be corralled in by Adam Zach, and it'll be stolen by DJ Morrow. 
We've got a timeout called by the Dragons. Timeout with 5.17 left. Dragons up by six. Where can you go to find good information on all kinds of topics related to the well-being of our student athletes? Check out the health and safety page of the MHSAA website. Learn about multi-sport participation, heat, and hydration, cardiovascular resources, as well as insurance benefits available for students. It's all on the health and safety page of the MHSAA.com. We're back here. We're back here in the field house. Six point advantage for the Dragons coming out of their timeout. DJ Morrow just recently getting the steal off an Adam Zach attempt to throw back ball back into play. Dragons, again, coming out of the half. They've had all the energy, all the momentum so far, and they're carrying that throughout the duration of this fourth. Let's see if they can continue. Absolutely. Morrow finds Ritt. Tall grab, poked out of bounds, staying with the Dragons. Lake Orion up 41 to 35 here. See if they can get another bucket here. Morrow. Morrow. Ritt up top. Alden Ritt finds Trevor. Trevor to Blake. Blake Widow up top for the Dragons. Alden down low to Trevor. He's got in the post. Resets the offense back to DJ Morrow. Fakes the pass. Trevor. Crowd wants him to take that three, but he doesn't want to. He wants to get a good shot here. Liddell. That just speaks to the character of Trevor. He has the wide open three attempt. Everybody's calling for him. He wants the good of the team. And he wants to find a, a good wide open, close to the bucket shot. Trevor's a team player. He's going to yep. do what's best for the team. Liddell driving. He drives in. Oh, almost an end. One opportunity there for Liddell. He'll get condition, continuation in two shots. That's off a foul by Ben Canty. I'll tell you, if you really think about it, though, that's kind of a smart foul there for Bloomfield, just because, I mean, Lake Orion hasn't been shooting that great from the free throw line. And if they're going to foul him, I mean, on a night that they're not shooting that great, it's not all bad of a decision. Liddell knocks down the first one for the Dragons. Platoon swap here for the Bloomfield Hills Blackhawks. Liddell looks to attempt his second free throw. Up and good, so he gets both of them there at the strike. Wouldn't it be something if we saw a dunk from one of these teams tonight? Oh yeah. I think if the Dragons would dunk this, the, the roof would blow off of this place. Oh, it would be great, especially with the students we got here tonight. Man. Up top is Lee Jr. He'll drive in. Puts it up, he puts it in. Derek Lee Jr. trying to get the Blackhawks going here, down by six. Bloomfield loves shooting those floaters, man. It's crazy. Averla finds Ritt. Ritt, three ball, just off. We got a foul going down the other way. So we got a foul. On number 24, Trevor Witt. So that's five team fouls on the Dragons. Just two more, and then that puts the Bloomfield Hills Blackhawks in the bonus. A lot of physical fouls from each yep. team tonight. Tough emotional game here by both teams. Pump fake. Mana, and he'll get called for the foul. Man, it, you cannot give teams fouls like especially three free throws mm -hmm. that's like three free buckets man but then again free throws this game have not been going in for either team for the most part so high risk high reward contesting that maybe we shall see so mana at the line for the blackhawks and he misses the first free throw Crazy, so instead man. of giving up a wide open shot the foul seems to work in the dragon's favor with only two points possible now from the strike so mana will attempt to attempt his second it's up and it's not good. Holy moly. So free throws are just not falling here tonight for really either team, but Bluefield Hills, it is affecting their scoreboard right now. Uh, they're looking like Andre Drummond tonight at the free throw line. <laughs> it's killing me. Mana will try his third one. Third time's the charm. 
And that one will go in for Mana. So he'll go one for three from the stripe there. Avrilla crossing the timeline for the Dragons. About 3.20 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Anthony Schulte. Tyler Ratliff here on the call from the, from the field house. Liddell up top. We've got a foul right there. Uh, number, number two, Ben Canty. So that'll send Mr. Alden Ritt to the strike. That's the one man you want if you're a Dragons fan at that line is Alden Ritt. Ritt's been shooting pretty good tonight as well. In the free throw line as well, he hasn't been all that bad. So Ritt will approach the line here. First out of two attempts. And he is money from the line. Alden Ritt, important points. Trevor Witt back on the floor for Lake Orion. He's going to take out his brother, C.J. Witt. The bruiser, man. If Trevor Witt sets a screen on mm -hmm. you, it's like running into a brick oh, yeah. wall. Oh, yeah. That is not a fun experience. It's not. Ritt will attempt a second shot here from the line. Important points, and he's clutch in, in, in crunch time. And he'll nail both of those free throw attempts. Mana up top. Dragons ought to be careful not to foul. They're at six. One more sends them to the line. Hands up for Trevor. Witt causes a, a risky pass. Adam Zach, three ball. He hits it. Tough three from Adam Zach that's, to bring the Blackhawks to within four. That's the player that we know Wilfa Hills has on their team. Adam, Adam Zach at the three. Step back, Ritt, no good. And we got a foul on the floor. That foul is going to be on 24 Adam Zach. So. He'll give you the three, but then he also gets the foul down low on Liddell. So that'll send Liddell to the stripe now for the Dragons. See if he can make his pair. The, the time here is running out for Bloomfield. If they're going to mm -hmm. get something going, they got to get going quick because they got two minutes and 35 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. CJ Witt back in for Trevor Witt. Lots of substitutions for the Dragons late in this game. Liddell from the line. Bottoms for Liddell. McOrion shooting a little bit better now at the free throw line lately. Yep, making their shots. Five point lead for the Dragons. Liddell trying to make it six. And he's off. Rebounded by Canty. Off Mana's arm, but he secures it. Avrilla guarding up top. Mana has the ball for the Blackhawks. Adam Zach, three ball. He hits it. Adam Zach with the clutch three to bring him within two. Ritz got the ball. Two and some change left to go in the game. Pressure is on now for the Dragons. Holy moly. Got a good one here, folks. Finds Liddell. CJ. This place is rocking right now. Liddell down low. He hits it. He hits it. Blake Liddell with the clutch basket to bring the Dragons up by four with a minute 56 left to go. Timeout on the floor. You can be a referee. In fact, we need you to get out there and be a referee now more than ever. Nationally, there's a shortage of people willing to work these kids' games and there are just kids games. So if you love sports and kids, register today at mhsaa.com. And if you're unable to get out there, please respect the efforts of those who can. We got one minute and 56 seconds left to go here. The Dragons are up 48 to 44, four point difference here. Adam, Adam Zachman, with those two clutch threes coming out to be the player he is. And then Blake Liddell with a layup there. It'll be Bloomfield ball, I believe. So out of the timeout, Dragons reload. And it will be Bloomfield Hills ball. Could be taken out baseline. I'll tell you what, if Lake Orion wins, when's the last time Lake Orion took the one seed in the playoffs? Man has got it. Up top, 
the Blackhawks. Krauski got it out to Adam Zach. Adam Zach. Man down for Lake Orion. Gets back up, and Adam Zach with a tough floater from the free throw line. He's turning it on here now, late in the game. Adam Zach wants this win. Ritz got it up top. Approaching a minute left to go in regulation. Ritz got it with a two-point lead. Dragons need to be careful with the ball here. Avrilla, he's got it up top. Finds Ritt in the corner. Double teamed. Ritt down low. Liddell, nothing. Rebound by Witt, and he's taken down. Witt is down after that. Witt gets up after that. Shrugging it off. He'll stay in the game. So Brodsky, he fouls out of the game. That's his fifth foul of the game. 23 Brodsky is hitting the bench. Both the teams want this win so bad. So that's Witt that's going to be at the line for the Dragons as Brodsky heads to the bench. Hopefully Witt can knock these ones down here. It'll be huge. With about one minute left to go here. With the Dragons a two possession lead. Let's see what can happen. Witt at the line. Taking two shots. And he nails the first one. Nothing but string music there from the free throw stripe. Went looking to make it two for two from the line. As his twin brother CJ Witt at the scores table about ready to check in for the Dragons. Here's Witt. And he'll nail it. Clutch free throws there for Trevor Witt. As CJ Witt will come in for his twin brother Trevor. Big game for the Dragons, big game for the Blackhawks, and the Dragons are up by four. Tell you what, the Dragons get a stop here. This is huge late in the game for them. Mana got it up top, guarded closely by Habrilla. Hands up, down low, Lee finds it, tapped out of bounds by Alden Wright. Just under a minute now left to go here in regulation, folks. Like Orion, but now all the juice in the tank here. Mm -hmm. Energy cannot be matched here in the field house. No, it can't. Adam Zach's got it. Spin move. Jumper. Tough jumper. Adam Zach. Wow. What a shot from Adam Zach to bring the Blackhawks within two. 50 to 48. Lake Orion looks stunned after that jumper by Adam Zach. Can't guard him more closer than that. And it's stolen by Adam Zach. Here we go. Adam Zach, he'll put it up. He'll put it in. Running clock now for Lake Orion, tied up at 50. 28 left to go, 28 seconds that is, and a timeout by Lake Orion. Careless turnover leads to a tied ball game. Adams with the lay-in. Timeout, Lake Orion. Oh. So we saw right there, we saw a pass taken away by Adams Zach down low, and puts it up, he puts it in. Ties the ball game up with about 26 seconds left to go. Dragons, what do you think Lake Orion needs to do here to get a smart shot, a good shot, and put them back up in this ball game? Well, I mean, they got a good amount of time. You got yeah. 26 seconds. Yeah. What they need to do is they need to pass the ball around. Mm -hmm. They need to get an open shot. Doesn't matter, two or three. Yep. Get up. And most importantly, don't move too fast because you leave too much time on the yep. clock. They can Bloomfield mm -hmm. and Adam Zach has hit multiple shots here. Yep. You don't want to let Bloomfield get the ball, so mm -hmm. just let the time flow, get a basket, and don't give them a lot of time to get another one. Got to be careful, got to execute right here. Lots of emotion for both sides of the gym. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Anthony Schultz and Tyler Ratliff here in the field house. About 26 seconds left to go here in regulation. Tied up ball game at 50. It'll be Dragon's ball out of bounds. Britt taking it out for the Lake Orion. And poked away there by Mana. Avrilla's got it. Deep in the backcourt. Got Ritt wide open. Adam Zach guarding. And it's taken away, taken away by Ben Canty. And a foul on Alden Ritt, it looks like. Maybe one and one. Foul on Alden Ritt. One and one right now for Bloomfield Hills. 
So for Lake Orion, box out for Bloomfield Hills. Make your free throw. This is huge for Bloomfield. This place is rocking right now, folks. Just listen. And he makes the first. The Blackhawk faithful electric after that one. Bloomfield Hills up by one. Canty at the line. Looking to make his second. And he nails the second. So the Dragons are going to take it out. Down by two with 10 seconds left to go. Alden Ritt with the rock. Almost gets it taken away. Blake Liddell has it. Alden Ray, three ball. Just off. And it's rebounded. That's the game, folks. That's the game. The Blackhawks will take it by two at the end of the game. A hard fought battle by both teams as the Blackhawks take this one, folks. Tyler, what did we see in that game? What led to, what led to the Blackhawks' late game victory? That is just called straight up hard play, execution mm -hmm. on offense and defense. You saw him steal the ball many times there late in the game. Mm -hmm. The Dragons didn't handle the ball well, and they took advantage of it and just got easy layups. Mm -hmm. They made a foul over there, which gave Bloomfield a, a one and one free throw. And when you're late in the game, I mean, that's just not the smartest move, because I mean, especially for a good team like Bloomfield, that's going to kill them. And now I don't believe Lake Orion will be getting that one seed now in the playoffs. They are guaranteed that one seed. They already have it locked and loaded for a playoff weekend. Thank you for watching this presentation of Dragon Sports. Today's game is a copyrighted presentation of Lake Orion High School's Dragon Broadcasting Program and Orion Neighborhood Television. Once again, the final score of tonight's game, 50, Blackhawks 52, Lake Orion Dragons 50. On behalf of our entire broadcast crew, I'm Anthony Schulte alongside my partner, Tyler Ratliff. Good evening, folks. Bright in my